So now to minimize the amount of retraction on the temporal lobe, what I would do is I would drill out the outer and inner table, not go past the inner table, so that it's down flat to the floor of the middle fossa, right? Minimizing retraction. And I would also drill out, I'd free up this, yeah, free that up and, and, and right down to the floor of the middle fossa there. Basically, you can go down to the, where the zygoma is, and that gives you all that middle, middle fossa. I think in this day and age where the resident work hours are limited, it's incredibly important for them to begin to understand three-dimensional anatomy in these prosections like this. It will make them much more facile when, the, when they're in the operating room. It's just, uh, I mean, I even did it when I was a resident. It's just important because to be a master neurosurgeon, you have to have a three-dimensional understanding of cranial anatomy, and that can only be gained by doing it.